Today we will review a core TPM security vulnerability that affects BitLocker encryption security. We'll discuss details of the vulnerability, your potential exposure, risk mitigation strategies, and how DriveStrike can help simplify endpoint whole drive encryption reporting, enforcement, and management. So, what is this TPM hack and why does it matter? A trusted platform module, referred to as TPM, is designed to manage secrets and ensure computer firmware and other components are not changed without express approval while reducing the barriers to access for trusted users. The TPM is designed to ensure the integrity of the system's security. Simply stated, the TPM chip sends encryption key values in plain text to the CPU on system boot up and, if compromised, enables an attacker to exploit data on attached hard drives, even if the drives are encrypted with BitLocker full drive encryption. Sophisticated attackers can obtain the key values through a direct physical connection in under 60 seconds. Keep in mind that in order to be successful, a hacker needs physical access to the computer and specialized probes and cables. While this vulnerability is a serious concern, not all configurations are at risk of this particular hardware-based attack. For example, FTPM implementations house the TPM with the CPU and are not vulnerable to this specific attack. FTPM configurations are susceptible to different weaknesses. In order to execute the TPM hack, its chip prongs must be physically accessible, kernel DMA protection disabled, and virtualization-based security disabled. If you need to know which devices are at risk, you can manually check via MS Info 32 or run a script to identify which computers are vulnerable to this TPM hack. How do you protect against this type of security risk? Each mitigation presents a clear trade-off between sufficient security and user convenience of access. Here's a quick list of pre-boot mitigations and the challenges each one introduces. TPM plus PIN. This ensures TPM encryption keys can only be accessed when a valid PIN or passphrase is supplied, and brute force attacks are largely mitigated, since the removal of the drive would require a 48-digit key authentication. The downside is that authorized users must remember the additional access code, and IT admins must consider the password complexity and rotation schedule that meets their security posture needs. Additionally, encryption key protectors must be escrowed somewhere to ensure that a TPM, or human memory failure, doesn't prohibit authorized access to critical operational data and applications. Passphrase. This completely mitigates TPM hack vulnerabilities, with the downside of introducing the requirement to manage another passphrase, its complexity, and rotation schedule. Implementing a passphrase increases the probability of a successful brute force attack because the likelihood of a passphrase being more complex than any other key protector is highly unlikely. Additionally, encryption key protectors must be escrowed somewhere to ensure that a human memory failure doesn't prohibit authorized access. External key, USB, or smart card. This completely mitigates TPM hack vulnerabilities with the downside requiring authorized endpoint users to carry a physical key that could be stolen along with the endpoint. You will also want to rotate and track these external keys at some interval that meets your security posture requirements. Encryption key protectors must be escrowed somewhere to ensure that lost or malfunctioning external keys are not your only mechanisms for authorized unlocking of the data. Numeric key. This completely mitigates TPM hack vulnerabilities with the downside requiring authorized endpoint users to memorize a 48-digit code. Good luck. You will also want to rotate and track these external keys at some interval that meets your security posture requirements. Encryption key protectors must be escrowed somewhere to ensure that forgotten keys are not your only mechanism for authorized access to the data. BitLocker Network Unlock. This completely mitigates TPM hack vulnerabilities with the downside requiring authorized endpoint users to only use their computer on an authorized network that manages the key protectors. You will also want to rotate and track these external keys at some interval that meets your security posture requirements. Encryption key protectors must be escrowed somewhere 
to ensure that a network failure doesn't stop company operations on all encrypted devices. So, how can DriveStrike help reinforce your security measures? DriveStrike automates and enforces encryption policies while maintaining positive custodial care of your encryption key protectors and offering a secure, self-service key retrieval to endpoint users. DriveStrike delivers the following features. Remote encryption lock. This feature empowers IT administrators to remove a TPM key protector remotely in near real time while the computer is online. Deadman switch. This feature endows IT administrators with godlike control to enforce policies that automatically nullify the TPM key and trigger an instantaneous system reboot. Encryption enforcement automation. Positive custodial care of encryption key protectors. This feature allows DriveStrike to rotate keys on command to ensure an encryption lock cannot be compromised with historical key protectors. Additional key protector escrow to provide IT administrators access when needed. TPM plus PIN requirement management and enforcement while escrowing the PIN and providing the ability for IT administrators to change pre-boot PIN values remotely. Self-service encryption key recovery. When an endpoint user is accidentally locked out of their computer, they can obtain a key on their own. When the endpoint user retrieves a key, all DriveStrike administrators are notified of who obtained a key for which computer. And once the computer is connected, DriveStrike expires the key protector and escrows a new secure key protector. Of course, we are partial to our solution, but we are always eager to talk to other security-minded professionals and will gladly discuss this and other topics with you directly. Contact us by sending an email to support at drivestrike.com or call us at 385-479-9000.